The Port of Nevada in Fernley and the Port of Oakland are collaborating to offer direct railroad service for imports and exports. Yeah, members of the project say this collaboration will have a number of benefits that will help the northern Nevada economy. Jake Reno attended the ribbon cutting ceremony today to find out more. The intermodal service from the Port of Nevada to the Port of Oakland has been fully operational for just over a month. Members of the project say that direct rail access is a big opportunity for Northern Nevada. It's a huge opportunity for Northern Nevada. People are concerned with the challenges of going over the pass and getting goods in or out, raw materials if they're a manufacturer or finished product out. So um, it gives the whole area another supply chain option. One representative with the Port of Oakland says that this direct rail access will save time, money, and resources. He says that cutting down the use of Interstate I-80 will provide more confidence for customers. They can load heavier um, cargo in the containers uh, so they can take trucks off the road in the state of California and then also so they can you know, have 365 days of uninterrupted service going over the pass because the UP just doesn't stop when the snow happens. Using the direct rail access is also environmentally efficient. Members of the project say that roughly one ton of rail cargo can be transported nearly 400 miles while using just one gallon of diesel fuel. One man with the Reno Sparks Chamber of Commerce says that this project will connect us to much more than just the Port of Oakland. Also being in a foreign trade zone, so not only will this connect us um, to the Port of Oakland, it'll also continue um, you know, eastward as well. So I know that there's plans to, kind of, to build more ties here in the area, which will just increase the amount of freight that we can um, offload here. Covering Money Watch, Jake Reno, 2 News Nevada. Members of this project also hope that it'll bring more business to the region, which could create more jobs for northern Nevadans.